Internet Marketing Online Business Tips for Selling Products Online There are lots of new things in internet marketing and an online business nowadays. People could find almost anything they need to know, identify which online places to go for entertainment or download digital products like ebooks and software. A beneficial experience an internet user can get from the web is to make money by selling products or services online. Discussed below are effective tips for successfully implementing cost-efficient online marketing campaigns. For you to successfully have your internet business going, you should first start with a web host where you can place your products and service packages. Some people who sell products and services online use website templates with default settings for viewers to easily contact them via email or instant messaging and quickly add pictures to enhance the site's visual impact. Lots of design tools and applications for manning your buyer's different payment options are available as free programs or cheap software. An example of a website which offers quick and easy options for running an online business by selling products via internet marketing campaigns is eBay. eBay has been successful in making vendors sell their items. Sometimes, they do not even just sell items, but can even do auctioning. This is where visitors can see the items and haggle on the price until the highest bidder can go and buy it from the vendor. There are also other websites where you can sell your items. You would be successful in this as long as you know how to attract your clients. Use a template where your clients can browse through your website without experiencing any hassle or stress. You should regularly update the available sizes, colors, bundled products or services if any, the price, where it is made, what it is made, and so on. Remember, by doing this, your customers will be interested in your site could see the professionalism and can refer your website to friends and colleagues, keep in mind to make your payment mode hassle-free. There are already couriers and banks to process payments and deliver your physical products. It is up to you, however, to make sure that you can trust them. Always make it a point to run the online business as safe and secure as possible for you and your customers. If you want to sell products online, you should know how to accept credit cards on your website. There are many good reasons why this is a good idea. Here are some advantages to some of the types of customers that you can encounter. There are chances where you will encounter impulse buyers. Right after they have seen your advertisement, they could be all hyped up on your products. If ever, they would want to purchase your products as soon as possible, they will need a secure payment gateway. If you only accept checks, the more time they need to have their checks written and sent to your address by a priority mail. This may also be a form of deterrence. Also, your customers may have second thoughts. During your internet marketing campaigns for your online business, you will surely encounter customers from other countries. By having a credit card account on your site for payment methods, this would be a huge relief to use for your international customers. They can handle situations when your current payment options are not accessible to your customers. You can use your personal merchant account to accept credit cards on your site. For this to be possible, you need to have a bank that will permit you to start opening a merchant account. Other needs for this will depend on countries. You would need to check and consult about this with your local bank to gain more details. If you do not like the method mentioned above, you can use a third-party merchant. Nowadays, there are a lot of companies accepting credit cards, provided you are willing to pay fees in exchange. Another name for these providers are payment gateways, how will you know which method to use? Initial costs when starting to open your merchant account is normally higher when you choose the second account, which is the third-party kind. However, keep in mind that not all third-party merchants have fees. On the other hand, transaction fees, this is what you pay to the third-party merchant each time a customer purchases your product, are normally higher than when you use your own account. The second method which is the third-party account is usually fine to use when you are not sure if you could purchase a good amount of your products. If you were just testing how your sale would go, this is where it is advisable to use the second method. It is also a convenient way for things to be taken good care of without you doing anything. The process ends where you would just retrieve a check at every last payment period.